Hey guys, today we're going to make a beautiful slow cooked smoked pork belly. We're going to serve it with a lovage crumb, a green pea and lovage cream, a green pea salad, a comfy potato and some delicious green asparagus. So let's begin. We're going to start by brining the pork belly. I use a pork belly that's 2 kilograms. Now mix 3 grams of fennel seed with 3 pieces of star anise, 5 cloves, half a cinnamon stick and 10 coriander seeds. Blend this till smooth. Then transfer 50 grams of palm sugar into a bowl and also add 25 grams of nitrate salt and the blended spice powder. Mix this. Now sprinkle half of the powder on the pork belly and rub it in. Then turn it around and do the same as you did with the top. Make sure you also rub some on the side. Now let it brine skin side up for 2 days in your fridge. After the 2 days you can turn on your barbecue till it's a consistent 90 degrees celsius. And yes, I barbecue inside, but I have a very special ventilation system, so you guys probably need to do it outside. Once it's hot, sprinkle some apple smoke wood on top and directly place the converter on there. This will protect the pork belly from direct heat. Now place a plate or metal plateau on there and fill it with a layer of apple juice. This will prevent the dripping fat from burning and it will also help with keeping the pork moist. Then place the pork belly skin side up on the barbecue and let it cook at 90 degrees celsius for around 4 hours till it has a core temperature of 78 degrees celsius. After 2 hours insert a core thermometer to ensure it won't overcook. You'll end up with a beautiful moist and perfectly cooked pork belly. Once it's cooked wrap it in some aluminium foil or butcher paper and let it cool down completely. Then keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the green pea and wild garlic cream. First clean 250 grams of shallots and chop it. Then drizzle some oil in a hot pan and glaze the shallots on a low heat with 4 grams of salt. Once softened, add 250 grams of defrosted frozen green peas with 200 grams of vegetable broth and 20 grams of sushi vinegar. Now boil this till half of the liquid is reduced. After that transfer it into a blender and add 40 grams of wild garlic leaves. Then blend it till smooth. Once it's smooth, add a touch of scent and gum to prevent the cream from splitting. Now blend it for another minute and then keep it in a piping bottle in your fridge for later. Here's a little example of what it looks like when the cream is splitting. On the left there's a cream with binder, on the right without. You can clearly see the right cream is starting to leak and split a bit. It's still very delicious, but quality wise left is better. Most of the time there's some fat in the vegetable cream. This will already help to prevent the cream from splitting a bit. But I didn't add it this time because the pork belly is already so fat and juicy. Now for the green pea tapenade. First clean some beautiful green peas. Then season some boiling water with salt and blanch the green peas for a minute. Once blanched, directly cool them down in ice water. Then peel them once more to remove the thin second skin. You can also leave it on, but this will bring it to the next level. Now finally chop some chives and add them to the cleaned green peas. Then also add some of the cream and some black pepper. Now mix it and then season it with some salt. Now for the comfy potato. First peel some waxy potatoes and cut them in thick slices. Keep the trimmings to make some other delicious recipes. Then cut the slices with a round cutter. Now wash them under running water to remove any excess starch. Then place them between some kitchen paper to dry them and season them with salt. Now transfer them into a pan and cover the rounds completely with neutral oil. I use sunflower oil. Add a couple leaves of sage and some clean cloves of garlic. Then bring this to a simmer. Once it's simmering let it cook at 95 degrees celsius for around 50 minutes. You can check if it's cooked if a knife can cut the potato with no resistance. Then take them out of the oil and keep them in your fridge for later. Now for the lovage crumble. Mix 20 grams of lovage leaves with 5 grams of fennel seeds and 20 grams of grated parmesan cheese. Now blend it till smooth. Then add 30 grams of bread panko and blend it into a fine powder. Keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the green asparagus. Trim the bottoms and make a thin incision around the top. Then peel the bottom from the incision down. Now cut them in half and then blanch them for 2 minutes in salted water. Then cool them down in ice water and keep them in your fridge for later. Now we can start to finish the dish. First portion the pork belly into the desired size and heat it up at 120 degrees celsius for 10 minutes. 
Now place the comfy potato and green asparagus on a tray and heat them up after the pork belly has been in the oven for 8 minutes. Then take the green pea tapenade and heat it up on a low heat. The cream I heat up in my heat drawer, but you can also heat it up in a small saucepan like the tapenade. Now pipe a thin layer of the cream on the pork belly and spread it. Then press it down in the leverage crumble and heat it up for another 4 minutes. After that portion it into thin slices. Then place a canal of the tapenade on a plate and also add the comfy potato, some of the cream and the green asparagus. Now pipe some small dots on top and then use them to stick the wild garlic flowers. Then place some pork belly slices next to it and it's ready to be served. Okay guys, that's it for today. I am super happy with the result. The dish looks incredible and it's really spring on a plate. The beautiful green vibrant color, yeah, it goes perfectly with the smoked pork belly. Last year I did a similar dish with uh, a smoked lamb snack. Uh, same garnish and that was a winner. So I just had to do it with a smoked pork belly because yeah, what's better than that, right? So let's just dig in. And while I'm cutting into the beautiful dish, I just wanted to remind you to enter the giveaway. It's very simple because you can win a six course dinner for six people worldwide entry. So I'm coming to your place if you win to cook the beautiful dinner. And the only thing you have to do is subscribe. So make sure that all your friends and family subscribe as well, because then you have a chance that I am going to be cooking at your place. It's going to be six of my signature dishes, all inclusive with wines, cocktails, small bites. It's going to be a whole experience. So be sure to subscribe to enter. Let's dig in. Mm. That's a beautiful dish. Super well balanced, really nice flavor of the lovage, the pork, that's spot on, and the wild garlic, mm. yeah, that's really good. So guys, sorry, yeah, so guys, like I said, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed making this dish. Please let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Like and share the video and subscribe if you want to support my channel and also have a chance that I'm going to cook, that I'm going to be cooking at your place. So subscribe and who knows. And as always, bon appetit.